PT came out in 2014. It is 10 years old and yet people are still chasing that sweet good good. They're trying to suckle at the teeth of Kojima. And now we have Super Normal, the most recent game to try and capitalize on this intimate hallway horror survival experience. So the question is, is it as good as PT? I mean, right off the rip, the UI is ugly as sin. I know that that doesn't necessarily make a difference to the game, but it's surprising considering that the game's graphics look good. But there is something cool I wanted to talk about here, and that is voice recognition. Because in this game, you can speak into the mic, and there's a chance that the ghost will speak back. You can say stuff like, can you help me, or go away, and they can answer no, or they can answer yes. What do you want? Yes. Oh, that shit layers too. Damn. Sounds like there's fireworks going off in my garden. Death in the game doesn't mean you'll have to start everything from the beginning. However, it can have an impact on the ending. Wyatt, thank you for coming so quickly. I just got back into the city, and when I arrived here, I found blood all over the place. Yeah, I think I went a bit overboard in the darkness there. Let's, light, let's brighten that up. Uh, got that Clint Eastwood stare. Got that fucking light skin gaze. All right, perfect. She's been staying alone in this apartment. Can you speak up, sir? I, I can't hear you. Thank you, Wyatt. Your dedication means a lot to me. Okay, so we're finally beginning the investigation. Mr. Sakamoto, he's hired us as a private investigator to find his daughter who's gone missing. If this is a Tokyo house, it's wham. There's no space in Tokyo, so for it to be this size, he's got the money and he's even got a cherry blossom in the garden. But we have to get to the bottom of it. Where's his daughter gone? And right off the rip, there is blood in the kitchen next to some dirty trays. Move the camera to find clues to examine it, hold down and zoom. Massive blood trail behind the pot. A clear sign of struggle. Another set of dirty dishes with dried blood. A troubling pattern emerges. Okay, the detective's a fucking idiot, but that's fine. So you can flick lights on. Ooh. I think generally speaking, lights on is a good thing in horror games. So we'll keep the lights on. Blood on the chopping Bloody board. Bloody handprints on the cutting board. A chilling sight. This crime scene holds dark secrets. It's 1659. That means someone was here at 1658. Some dark secrets are unraveling here. Some are sicker than others. Ah, an all in the head game. Are there any ghosts in this house? Yo, Wagwan B, what are you saying? Ghost, is this the highest specification MacBook? Humble papers. Discarded like they hold no value. It sounds like a kid who's pretending to be a detective and trying to sound really serious about it even though they're not buying into it themselves. Any family that has a Ouija board in their house on the casual, they're inviting this kind of bad, bad juju. Pointer for the Luigi board. Bathroom with blood. Toilet with shit stains? Why would it get so low? Would you do that? You see a toilet covered in shit, blood and piss? Not twice if you left the poopy and khaki stains. Blood on the closet board. Hand smudges. A sign of struggle. Or something more sinister. A sign of murder. Struggle. Blood. Or something more sinister. Someone was hurting. I agree. Stuff is spicing up now because we had our first paranormal encounter. And now we have to go upstairs. Hello? Anyone home? Oh wait, sorry. Anyone home? Ah, drugs. Bezadrian, Mexilocam. What do these do? What do these drugs do? Unexpectedly finding a plethora of pill boxes. Hmm. This raises questions about the family's mental state. So there is mental health issues going on, but what do these drugs counteract? Rectal use only, oh. More pills. More pills, yes. Insightful as always, Inspector Gadget. Wash pool, lots of clothing. Can I inspect it? Again, what's up with the position he's taking? He's getting down on all fours and then curving his neck up to look at the washing machine while he's investigating. Like a fucking salamander. Oh. An unexpected sight. A Beretta. Pistol. In this case, raises serious concerns. I need to be cautious. Y yes, you do. I also like that the washing machine is vibrating separately to the blood stain. So, washing machine with blood, a pistol, drugs, mental health. It's every trope. But I'm not sure what what rooms are left to explore. Will the phone ring, maybe? That is a cliche. That hasn't happened yet. Bloody handprints in a home where Sophia loved playing piano. 
send shivers down my spine. Has anyone ever watched Kotaro Lives Alone? This investigator, he speaks like Kotaro. Seven days? Who's gay? I have security cameras uh, installed all over cameras. my apartment. You can access the camera oh, yeah. footage through my laptop. Press and hold the interaction to move the camera. Okay. Oh, here we are. Bro's got the skin fade on lock. Oh man, camera's in a horror game. I've played enough Five Nights at Freddy to know what this means. It is going to be a nightmare. But it said you can use night vision to see things in the dark. So I think, ooh. Okay. She wants us to turn the light off. So we'll have to go up there, turn the light off, and then look at it in the night vision. So I imagine now is where stuff is going to get real nasty. So she was just around this corner, which I told you was going to be a pain in the ass. Okay. Nothing. Try not to get jump scared. Mm. Oh, it's a cutscene. Oh, thank God. It takes the pressure off of me. Oh, no. She's in the gotnik position. Can I speak? Hello? Okay. Oh no, she's in the air tumble dryer. Shit, maybe she is actually, maybe that's like, yeah. Maybe her body's in the tumble dryer. Blood on the ceiling. Knock twice if you'll date me. Voice recognition has been unlocked. Bitch, I've been doing that the whole time. Is anyone here with me? I can't remember if that's yes or no. What do you want? Justice. <gasps> okay, that's kind of cool. That is actually kind of cool. It's a bit janky, but it is cool. All right, so you find email. What is the email? Can you help me? Help me? Fuck, all right, that's enough of that then. We're getting nowhere. The initial few jump scares are always a bitch because you just don't know mechanically what to expect. And once they're out of the way, it's fine. But yeah, the initial few are just painful. Mm -hmm. Oh, mother of God. Follow these bad boys downstairs. Ah, it's the password on the scrunched up bit of paper. Uh. Ooh, I don't want to. Okay, fine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Now let's go ignore the crying and see what is in the hallway with the lights off. Ooh, ignore that crying. Number one is ma. Part one of the Password? Part one of the name. Ooh. Hello? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. What is going on? I'm moving cameras. Ooh, she didn't like that. She didn't like that. Yeah, listen. Hey, stop crying. Where is this fucking... Where are my school nurse? What are you want babying? Ooh, I hear wet footsteps. Mm-hmm. Oh, that is no good. With a forehead, no less. The least efficient form of light switch turning on. Is anyone in the room with me right now? Am I going to have to lock in like ye old English to get it through? Be anyone in the room right now? That's me when I'm editing a video late at night. I told you I'm not a fucking coward. I told you. I told you. It's the Irish blood in me. We don't scare easy. I mean, if I could see what was going on, I might have been more scared, I will admit. I just Stevie wandered my way through that whole encounter and I was I was actually happier for it. Oh, uh, uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, so we've got to turn off the kitchen light. What happened to PT? Oh, what happened? So she wants justice because she was murdered. The daughter's been murdered. I think we can all but confirm it now. So we've got three words, M-A-R-K, and then the year 2009. Now find password, okay. Behind me? I'm not turning around. I, I refuse, hey, can you hear me? I'm not turning around. I'm a coward like that. No, I'm not, even, you know, I'm not even a coward. I am a survivor. When you're told to turn around, the best course of action is to just politely decline. Mark 2009. I still don't know who that mark is. There's no camera into here though, so we can't even look. Uh. No, thank you. No, thank you. Be gone, scoundrel. Be gone, scoundrel. Ah, oh, you motherfucker. I mean, I'm dead. Well, it wasn't as scary as I thought it would be getting caught, but I don't really know what I could have done differently there. I flushed the toilet. I don't know what you want me to do. Oh, there we go. Uh oh. <clears throat> I guess I was just so caught up in the moment. I let my emotions get the better of me. And uh, I apologize. Where are you? Oh, yeah. oh. 
suck your mum. I'm like a true relative. My only safety is my laptop. Okay, we're about to get our third letter. Why does it keep saying look behind me? I'm never gonna do it. Not once, not even if there's a fire. Uh, it's Spider-Man? So S something E, then J. Oh no. Mm-hmm, yo. Oh. Yep. Oh, she's been crucified. She's actually the resurrection of Jesus Christ. It really wants us to turn around. So two is W. S W E blank T P J K. So it's either sweet or it's sweat. Let's try Oh well here we go, it's just here anyway. Oh no. Oh no, ghosty girls come back. Oh fuck you. E. Okay, so it is sweet. We could have guessed that, to be fair, but we might as well just end on a high. Grab them all. Play the game as it's meant to be played. So you know Cry of Fear, the game begins with you finding a password for a computer and then you move on. That's like the first intro, that's like the first five minutes. So far that has been this entire game. Sweet, uh, what was it, PJK. Oh, I'm a bit stumped here guys. Oh, what the f***? Maybe it was cap sensitive? Rachel Maine, it's really nice to meet you too, Mark. Martha, so happy you're also 14. What's your address again? Mark, hi Rachel, I'm so happy we met. It's like a super cool adventure. Let's hold hands and step into a wonderful story together. Now the issue is, this is her dad, or the dad, the one we spoke to at the beginning, this is his computer, and he doesn't have a son. So either the girl is pretending to be a 14 year old boy, or the dad is pretending to be a 14 year old. So maybe the dad killed the daughter because she found out he was a nonce? Oh shit, the phones are calling. Considering your history of mental illness, it's crucial for you to follow your prescribed medication regimen as it significantly impacts your stability. So the drugs weren't for the daughter, they were for the dad. He hasn't been taking them and he's unstable and he's been talking to young women on the internet. This is literally a scene out of To Catch a Predator. I mean, I feel like the ghost can't be angry at us anymore because we solved the murder, kind of, maybe? Oh, there is banging going on upstairs. But what for? Oh no. Oh no. What is it? Ooh, okay. Oh, it's not gonna be nothing good behind here, is it? It was him all along. Damn, a pile of dead gal. And we're attacked. Okay. Struggling. Struggling. He's only a little nonce. We're stronger, surely. In the chilling, desolate apartment, the cold body of Detective Wyatt lay lifeless. The seasoned investigator had been ruthlessly silenced, forever stilled by the very man he'd been closing in on. The horrifying truth was clear. Mr. Sakamoto, Sophia's father, had been the perpetrator behind his daughter's disappearance and the demise of other innocent girls. And that's it. But that was apparently the bad ending. And it said in the beginning, you get the bad ending if you die. It did say dying might affect the ending. So I assumed you had a little bit of leeway, but it would seem if you die once, you get the bad ending. But the real question is, does the password change on the laptop? Because that's pretty much all the game is. So let's try it again. All right, so last time we had to answer the phone call before that worked. So let's speed through the investigation investigation and see if we can't just skip massive chunks Bloody of this game. Well, I mean, overall, it is an interesting game. It is very short, but I think it does a good job of taking the limited kind of mechanic and actual amount of story that it has and dragging it out in a way that actually feels kind of rewarding and not just pure filler. But I do feel like a lot of the story, it does feel rushed. Like it feels like there's a lot more they could have told with this story rather than just, ah, oh, he, he was a bit sick in the head. He stopped taking his drugs. So he's a pedophile and a murderer. Ah, look, there it is. The infamous storage room of dead bodies. We're in uh, Patrick Bateman's apartment. But if the detective knew how to open doors, the, the case would be over immediately. Bro, I've only just realized after finishing the entire game that we have a flashlight. If you press F, 
You have a flashlight. Mark 2009, sweet PJK. Oh my days. That is not ideal. I mean, it's kind of cool you can just skip it all, but at the same time, like I say, Cry of Fear was able to randomly generate its passwords. So I feel like this game should be able to. Kind of takes out all replayability. And we've just got the good ending in about five minutes. So what happens? Do we get attacked, but this time... Oh, they've blurred the faces. That's interesting. Is it because they wanted to use the same model but not restructure their face? Probably. It was clear now the person behind all these unspeakable acts was none other than Mr. Sakamoto. He had exploited his daughter's shyness and isolation, luring innocent girls into his house and leading them to their tragic end. Soon after, Mr. Sakamoto is apprehended by the police, his reign of terror brought to an end. And that is it. It's a massive waste of potential not having at least the password randomly generate, but that's their choice. It's a relatively small budget game. And for that, I think they've done fantastically within the confines of what they have. But the real question is, how does it compare to PT, the source and inspiration for it? Uh, it doesn't even really come close in terms of uh, fear or depth, uh, which is really saying something because PT was a demo that is 10 years old and yet people are still chasing it and failing to capture what made that so good. So let me know what you thought of this game. Let me know if you want to see me play any other horror games and what they might be and make sure you subscribe and like to see more content like this. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.